Oh, breaking points. Perfect. Perfect. Good morning, everybody. This is what I want. This is what we do. The lab leak theory hypothesis has always been that in sketchy research was being conducted at the Wuhan lab. This research and its sketchy safety practices were well acknowledged by the U.S. State Department and cables that we have since been open since 2018. Like, like what sketchy? Okay, man, I had to learn so much stuff for gain of function research. I just, I hope everyone understands. There are ways to do this well and ways to do this poorly. But gain of function research is like a, I'm pretty sure it's a really common part of like um, virological research. You have to understand a lot of the stuff that our virologists work on is dangerous. I hope everyone can understand there's no non-risk assess way to do virological research for reasons that I would hope are obvious. Anything that you're doing in that department has to be held to like really rigorous safety standards and a failure to abide by those safety standards to the point that there's a lab leak, that's a huge deal. And if it really happened, I want to know. But this broader attack on gain-of-function research comes across as pretty anti-scientific to me. Basically, gain-of-function research is when you, like, edit or mutate deliberately a virus with an attempt to kind of, like, make it more lethal or more transmittable or in any way enhance its negative characteristics. But you're doing so to, like, get ahead on it. You're doing so to find out how it's going to mutate, to try to understand more about how things are developing. So like a really good example of how you can imagine gain of function research, at least kind of in concept being like reasonable, is uh, antibacterial hand soap. You know that the, the hand sanitizer and how everything's antibacterial, we give antibiotics to the animals that we force feed in our meat packing plants and da da And now like everyone's eating antibacterial stuff all the time, you know, but it's like you kill 99.999% of bacteria, some will survive, and eventually you're going to start isolating bacteria strains that are resistant to common antibiotics. And the more we take antibiotics, the more we incentivize the growth and spread of the very small subset of strains that are resistant to our antibiotic medicine, which needs stronger medicine to counter. And eventually, like, we're basically doing, like, advanced trial run. Have you ever seen any of those YouTube videos where they're like, I used AI to build a bot that could finish a level, a, a platformer level. And at first, like the little doodad will just stay there. And then by like 1000 iterations in, it'll be like doing backflips and shit. We're basically doing that to bacteria. And the idea would be like, don't you think it'd be helpful to kind of know how those more advanced strains would act before they actually, you know, are everywhere and, and stuff like that. You know, I'm no virologist. I'm just saying it's, it's not a totally bad thing. Actually, the government is weighing whether or not they're going to sort of rein in uh, this gain of function research. And if they're going to institute new safety protocols going forward, there were recommendations to do exactly that. But that is still a very live issue. It's still a live issue because freaking Eco Health Alliance is still getting grants and yes, funding to do right. similar research. So it's a live issue because of that. But it also was. Yeah, because because gain of function research is all over the place. It I, again, I don't it's all so like vague and abstract. I don't actually know what's being said. I, I don't understand what, what's actually being talked about here. So say that it happened and say the reason why the leaked strain was so powerful was because of gain of function research. OK, so if our response to that is that we then want to ban all gain of function research, that would come across to me as this profoundly stupid. It seems to me the most likely prescriptions that you could make would be to say that China probably has more lax safety standards when it comes to their labs, which I would fully believe because it's China. So like, what, so is that the case? Because I'm fine with that. Yeah. Peter Daszak was also a part of the initial investigatory group from the World Health Organization mm -hmm. that initially determined that there was no lab leak and said it was natural origin and has the famous interview on 60 Minutes where they said, well, are you just taking the Chinese word for it? And he said, well, what else can we do? I'm like, I don't know, you know, <laughs> maybe look at your own records. He has a vested monetary. How would looking at your own records tell you whether or not there was a lab leak at a Chinese controlled research lab? What would American medical records tell us about the practices and potential medical mishaps at a Chinese controlled lab? Look, if you are still pumping the natural origin theory, there is almost no evidence to support that. Like, you have been unable to find how some bat miraculously flew, flew a thousand miles and ended up in the Wuhan lab. Even the Chinese don't even really stick. What? Flew with, first of all, bats can fly a thousand miles. They do that sometimes. Secondly, what? Third of all, they had already done research on the SARS-CoV virus strain 
infected bats and found that recombinant mutations within their own population, which had already been taking place, had the potential to lead to extreme human virality. The research found that there absolutely was a brewing cauldron of viral potential of danger. What? By no, the, uh, yeah, they don't stick by the wet market theory. They're like, oh, well, something was contaminated along the way and just stop asking questions about this. All of these intel- but How do we think viruses work? This is all so stupid. This is so dumb. I, oh my God. It's not even like, I don't think it could have been a lab leak. It's like, why are we all being so dumb? Why is this so dumb? Oh my God. Jesus. Is it plausible that this escaped from a lab? That's really all you need to know to know that this research is extremely dangerous. No, no, you anti-science fucks. We already knew that there was the genetic potential for a human pandemic from the bat population. That was the point of the recombinant analysis of their existing genetic strains. We, it was already there. The whole point of this is to research so we can know. These, no, Luddites were based. Luddites just weren't getting paid enough. This is just like caveman shit, man. Oh my God. Yeah, this is, guys, this is literally the same attitude that hippies had after fucking um, Three Mile Island, where they were like, uh, wow, nuclear research can be dangerous? We need to stop this now. Like, this is the same shit that led to Germany dismantling all of its nuclear reactors, because they're fucking cucks. Because people get a little bit scared. Like, it's not... Oh, oh. The critical difference here is that nuclear accidents don't happen in nature. They can only be human constructed. Except for the sun, whatever. Whereas the, the SARS COVID shit existed in nature. It was a it was a it, it was in nature that was the whole point of the research and we need to be asking really hard questions about whether this should continue what sort of safety procedures should be in place and by the way like we know what the risk was what have we gotten out of it i was listening to uh, an old ep episode oh my god do we really want to examine the entire contribution of gain of function research like ev like what have we gotten out of this People said the same stuff about nuclear research, like, all this is brought as destruction. Okay, yeah, like, it's done a lot of bad. It's also, like, the most potent energy source, like, capable, like, possible, like, like, physically possible, you know, but whatever. And they were talking about, like, okay, let's say it was the wet market. You have this Institute of Virology right there across the street. If it came from the wet market, you weren't able to stop that? Like, yes, this is supposed to be your whole thing. What? Crystal! Are you fucking kidding me? A pandemic origin point right across the street? You're a virologist. Why didn't you stop it? What? With with what? How, what? It's it's insane. She said that. That was insane. That she said that. That was insane. That that was actually insane. That is insanely stupid. Holy shit. Yeah, like they're gonna deploy a fucking virus SWAT team. Like the virus Ghostbusters with their proton backpacks gonna run out there? What the fuck did they? What did they, did do? What 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 do they think that was? Like a like a fucking tyrannid infestation where like there was just a gene stealer running around and they were like, well, dude, you were right there. Why didn't you stop it? it, 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 it it's it's invisible. What, what, what do you what do you mean? What are we getting for this research? Is it it's supposed to be preventing pandemics? Well, it failed. No, the fact that a pandemic happened near a lab doesn't mean labs can't help prevent pandemic. That's not how that works. That, this is so stupid. This is like saying, dude, how OSHA, the OSHA office is right here. How did you let somebody fall off a ladder like a block away or a mile away? No, it's even stupider than that. It, because you can conceivably prevent a ladder from falling. You can't stop a virus from transmitting interpersonally out of nowhere from patient zero. What does that even mean? What were they supposed to do? Identify like the infected atom? Oh my God. Oh, fuck. No, this, this, this would be like somebody, this would be like somebody developing a cancer cell and you're like, bro, there's a, there's an institute of cancer research just like on the other side of the city. Why didn't they stop it? That's actually what it's like. That's actually what it's like. That's an actual analogous comparison. Bro, um, I, I thought all this cancer research was supposed to help, yet somebody developed a cancer cell on their lung on the other side of town? Dude, you were right there. What the fuck were they supposed to do? What does this mean? What does it mean? I, <coughs> I, oh my God. Man, 
you can you can say literally anything. But yeah, we need to defund all medical care because somewhere near a hospital, somebody stubbed their toe or something. I don't know. And let's just not forget, Fauci is probably the number one person implicated in all of this. He's going out as a hero, but you know, maybe history won't be nearly as kind. Let's just not forget how he tried to play this down at the time. Let's take a listen. Everything about the stepwise evolution over time strongly indicates that this virus evolved in nature and then jumped species. Why do they think lab leak means man-made? Because they're stupid. Yeah, good point, Angel Thorns. I hadn't even brought up that distinction. At a lab, you have samples of viruses, even if the viruses are natural. A lab leak could just be a leak of an existing viral sample, not necessarily one that was constructed or made through gain-of-function research. It, it, it could just be a sample you have on hand. Now nah, that is dumb. No, it's not. The five-year study of the SARS COVID strains in the bats was them having existing strains of COVID. A leak of those, which recombinant effects suggested they could infect humans, would indicate that it's, it's, yeah, they had the poop. They had the poop. They had the poop. It goes so deep. It really is Iraq WMD level. And let's not forget. Is it? A 15-year-long war prompted by deliberate dishonesty is comparable to the accusation that one guy said privately the virus might be engineered but publicly didn't, and we still have no evidence that it was. And I want to talk to a conservative, a conservative about this. Can I? I don't even want to debate them. I just want to like ask them a bunch of questions. I. Uh... It's not just about what we do. This thing, you know, a million Americans died of COVID mm -hmm. by some estimate. Uh, it cost trillions of dollars in economic... Okay, so here's the thing. The tragedy of the Iraq war was a direct product of lying about the WMDs, in part. Is the suggestion here that if the media had said it was a lab leak, they would have gone back in time and prevented COVID from spreading around the world? What is the... the like... Uh, like, like, like some kind of like chronological abnormality would have been addressed and like the timelines would have restructured themselves and we would have gone back and, and then it would have like, re and then COVID wouldn't have happened. The bad parts of COVID happened the moment the virus happened. Whether or not it was a lab leak after the fact is maybe a secondary concern with regards to what protections need to be taken or who needs to be held accountable. It wouldn't have prevented the COVID deaths. Whereas the Iraq WMD things weren't like a post hoc thing. They were made as a justification to begin with. Actually doing the research that you were supposed uh, to. Guys, I'm really, I'm really sorry. I'm tired. I, do it, The conspiracy bullshit really fucking frustrates me a lot. I find it a little bit more entertaining when I feel like I can arrive at a kind of like definitive st stance or conclusion. But the problem is like the honest to God problem is I don't fucking care if it was a lab leak or not. I don't ha I'm not out here to defend the fucking Chinese government. The problem is all the people who are talking about the lab leak stuff are talking about a bunch of other stuff, right? Like it's all, it's about like persecuting Fauci, which I didn't find any evidence in all of this to indicate that he'd done anything wrong. I mean, I, I don't know. Cons are so inconsistent. And then like, keep in mind, overwhelmingly, the people who were saying that it was a lab leak thing were also saying that it was some like new world order attempt to destroy society or that it was like, uh, uh, like uh, the lockdowns were part of the government plan to respond or whatever. The problem is there was all this adjacent craziness. I don't actually give a fuck whether or not it was a lab leak. I, I don't. I don't actually care. I mean, I'm interested in like a procedural sense, like what can be changed to fix stuff in the future. And hey, maybe gain of function research should be like banned or broadly regulated. But if I'm going to get advice on regulating gain of function research, it's not going to be from a fucking piece of shit who's like, uh, how could a virus happen right outside the Wuhan lab? Isn't that your job? I'm not going to take advice on procedure regarding gain of function research and virology studies from somebody who's like, well, why didn't they go out there and punch the virus so it didn't happen, huh? That's not how it fucking works. Uh, like, I, it's, it's so stupid.